If you're just tuning in for the second date, one of our listeners, Max, recreated prom night for his date, Beth, after he found out that she never went to hers back in high school. He did a big promposal. They danced to old songs in the parking garage at his work. Mm -hmm. They even took prom (laughs) photos on his iPhone. And he didn't get a kiss at the end of the night. After all that, I said he should have at least gotten a pity kiss for all that effort that he went through Mm -hmm. for her. So I'm telling you right now, Max, if we don't get you this date and we can't deliver a pity kiss from Beth, then our own social media coordinator, Alexis, has agreed to step up and we'll kiss you on the air to end this segment. I'm guaranteeing we, okay, it, man. We'll, if we'll you can go all out for a date, then we can go all out for a second <laughs> Speak date. Speak for yourself. Yeah, and I mean, I'll, if anyone's the expert on pity kisses, it's definitely you, Jeffrey. Yeah. So take that one for <laughs> yeah. the team, okay? okay. Well, I'll, someone on this show is going to pity kiss you, Max, I mean, whether you me. want it or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just hope you guys give me a date. Wait, did you pay for the McDonald's? Because then I'll totally kiss you, bro. <laughs> we split the McDonald's. Oh, okay. uh, never mind. You didn't pay for a McDonald's? <laughs> well, he already paid for everything else. What do you want from him? That's true. He's I got a talk What did he pay for? The mixtape in the parking garage? <laughs> and the Uber ride? There it is. And the candles and the flowers. Okay. Oh, Not right. McDonald's, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know your parents hadn't given you an allowance yet, <laughs> and that's why you couldn't cover McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Brooke's hating on you right now, no, Max. Just, she's but you know what? Aggressive. I support you, okay? You that piece and out. I'm going to rent a hotel room after this second what? date in Whoa. case it goes really well, just for Wait. you and me. What kind, oh, of, no. what kind of prom did you have? Yeah. <laughs> the best prom. Dude, yeah, ours, ours ended in a forest at a kager. So. Okay, that's a little sketchy. <laughs> that's, too. Not, that's, right. not normal. You, that's why you want to do prom with me, Max. Did anybody just go home at the end of prom? Am I the only one that just was in my own bed? Yeah, yep. I went to a cabin. Oh, no. Okay, then. <laughs> all right, we're all getting sidetracked <laughs> reminiscing about our proms. Sorry. Let's focus on the second date and max we're going to try and call it right now you ready yeah i'm ready okay here we go hello hi is this beth uh yes it is who's calling my name's jeffrey i work on the radio show brooke and jeffrey in the morning oh um are you familiar with us I'm familiar with you. I just, I don't know why you're calling. Okay. Well, if you're familiar, then you might be familiar with a segment that we do called the second date. That's where if you go out with someone, right, and afterwards, if they're not calling you back, you can email us for help. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've I've heard of it. So recently, you went out with a guy and you're not calling him back afterwards. So he's asked us to get in touch with you. Okay. uh, What's his name? His name is Max. Max. It's yeah. going to be a okay. hard to forget date. I would imagine, mm-hmm. un- unless you've gone to a bunch of recreated proms over the last <laughs> week or so. <laughs> no, I I just have one. Well, good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> so are you purposely not getting back to him or maybe you got busy? What did he tell you about our date? I mean, he basically ran us through the whole evening where he did a promposal for you. He took you to his mm-hmm. parking garage at his work to recreate a dance. You guys went to McDonald's afterwards, and he made it sound like it was a pretty fun night. Okay, so dancing in a parking garage and going to McDonald's sounds fun to you? I I mean, (laughs) not to me personally, but I could understand (laughs) why it would be a nice gesture. It sounds fun to me. Did it? Okay, I will say when Max told us the story, he said that you guys danced for like 15 songs, which to me was overkill. Yeah, there there were a lot of songs, and he was excited about each one of them. Ah. Like, do you remember this one? And giving me the history of each song. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Like, well, he hand-selected each one on I mean, purpose. it is sweet. Like, mm-hmm. he's just trying to recreate prom for you because he said you missed your high school prom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I mean, the whole thing was, it was really, really sweet. It was just a, a little maybe, like, childish for me. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm. Well, high school, we were kind of a kid, like, meaning like that, or it's like... You know. I mean, like, we're grown adults now, like, it's okay I missed my prom, like, I'm mm. not 
sitting here crying in a corner all these years later. Oh, <laughs> you're like yeah. super hungry. But you said yes to the proposal, so. Right. No, she didn't know, right? Well, she knew was to she, dress up. She's saying when the proposal was outside her door and he was oh, standing yeah. at the touch, yeah. she came in down <laughs> and went right. with him. With the candles. I forgot. She should have just been like, uh, no, let's just do like Applebee's <laughs> or something. I mean, yeah, the gesture was really cute. I just, you know, doing the like proposal thing, like, is kind of the cutest part of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the surprise. It was kind of everything else. Like, yeah. you know, it was just the two of us in this like parking garage, you yeah. know, and I've just met this guy for the first time in real life. So <laughs> it, it was a little awkward. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, I definitely understand what you're saying. That That's a weird experience to go through. But you have to remember, he's just trying to create a moment for you. And like, maybe he didn't do it the best way. But going forward, you don't have to do that again. You can just do a normal date. Well, that was kind of a deal breaker for me. Um, Wait, what was the deal breaker? I'm sorry, just doing the long prom night thing was a deal breaker? No, it was it was actually a conversation that we had had at McDonald's oh. that just kind of turned me off. It wasn't him McDonald's? making you pay for your own McDonald's food <laughs> that turned you off. Something else did it? No, no, no. We can put the bill. It's fine. So when he was talking at McDonald's, he was talking a lot about plans for our future dates, which there's nothing wrong with thinking about future dates. But he thought because I loved the prom date so much that he wanted to, like, recreate all of these other events in my life, like my sweet 16 and, like, oh, my oh. 21 run and, like, Basically, all the big moments that people have. I mean, I get that because it feel. I mean, to me, it would feel like he's trying to insert himself in my past <laughs> memories. Like oh, it's okay yeah. that I had a life before I met you, man. We could <laughs> still date without you forcing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I also this. think it's kind of weird that he keeps trying to recreate her in her teenage years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, he said twenty-one run. Well, okay. He also There's... wants her wasted in a back alley somewhere, <laughs> okay, well, peeing on a garbage can yeah, or something. Mitzvah, or... You're thirteen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just a little too much for me. And like, yeah. in the moment, it was hard for me to say anything because I was so overwhelmed and kind of taken aback. Like, wait, you want to do what? Well, <laughs> now that you're out of that moment, I'm going to put you into a different moment where I tell you that Max is on the other line listening and he wants to talk to you right now. Oh, he's on the other line? Uh-huh. Yeah, he's been listening yeah. the whole time. Max, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, hey, Beth. Oh, my God. I didn't know you were listening. Um, it was a cool prom night, right? I mean, yeah, it was It was really sweet of you to do that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I, it, it's just that you, you, you did say that you'd never been a prom that you wished you, you had. So I was basically making your wish come true. Yeah, it, it's kind of less about the prom aspect and more about, like, wanting to recreate all of these other moments in my life for our dates instead of just, like, going out and getting to know each other. Right. Yeah, I just thought that uh, those were really important to you, and I wanted to maybe experience those moments with you. I thought that would be really nice. But mm. is it just that, I don't know, you're not, like, attracted to me? Mm. <laughs> to me, it was just a little too much. It was a little overkill especially like it, like i said this prom was super nice but like trying to recreate my sweet 16 that i already had is a little bit different than recreating a prom that i never had yeah but i wasn't at your sweet 16 i i mean i would have liked to have been there oh man oh. Oh. are you not hearing anything Dude. she's saying like i know man that you may have hurt feelings right now but <laughs> I feel like it's good with you to be very direct. She doesn't want to do that. Yeah. Fine, we'll just do the 21 run then. We don't have to do it earlier. Stop no. do that. Max, I don't think you're understanding what she's saying. She's done all that already. Mm-hmm. She's finished with that portion of her life. She'd like to move into adulthood and yes. do all the things that adults like to do that are fun. Netflix and chill would be an upgrade for once. I know. <laughs> you said you liked the driver's license idea. That when you got your driver's license, we were going to do that together. What? What? What, what are you going to teach her how to parallel park? No which she already knows how. how? <laughs> Again, these are things we don't need to relive in life. Yeah. Nobody wants to relive the stress of your driver's license. Or I never said I wanted to do a driver's license party. I just said I had never had one. And oh. I don't even know if those are like a thing. Like, I don't think they are. <laughs> well, excuse me for being Mr. Think of Others. What? No, bro. No, Max. Max, you're being Mr. Don't listen to anyone. Yeah. Who doesn't like being celebrated? Okay, well, why don't you sure. have one of those parties for yourself then? Yeah, recreate taking your first steps and she can be there for it. <laughs>
I would be up for that if that's what you want to do for the next date. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Well, in that case, no Beth, we would like to no. send you out one more time oh with Max. God. You can you can recreate. <laughs> you can hold his finger oh. while he barely keeps his balance and takes his first steps again. And we'll pay for that somehow. What do you say? I don't want to keep looking back. So I think that for me to move forward from this is not going on a second date. Yes. That's a very good way to say no. Because we could do a retirement party. Do you want to do a retirement party? <laughs> retirement sounds too far. That sounds like fun. <laughs> hey, you're over the hill. Yeah. <laughs> you get a discount on your food. You'll They're... be in bed by 4 o'clock. What wow. do you say? Great. I like it. Here's some food that easy. Yeah. it's easy to bite through. Yeah. <laughs> dinner. Coincidentally, also McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Dating world, most men put in minimal effort for mm. their dates. Yeah. It's texts at 2 a.m., mm -hmm. yeah. Netflix and chill, oh, maybe Taco Bell delivered. Ooh. Delivered. Wow. Maybe. Delivered. Hello, Casa Mar Nova. Mary, Mary. Yeah. I mean, other men, though, they'll go the extra mile, take her to Chili's, Whoa. get some Southwestern egg rolls. <laughs> Those things Whatever are really good. Are. Offer oh, to split good. the yeah. bill like Ooh. a gentleman. Wow. But one guy named Max went the extra 17 miles when he planned his first date. Oh, That's very wow. specific. <laughs> what do you think her like? Well, I'm just saying, he didn't go the extra mile. He went oh, way oh, past okay. that mile. Wow. And I can't wait to hear exactly what he did. Max, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. Oh. I know that was a silly little I know. tease, but I cannot wait to hear where you took her now. I yeah. mean, Max, are you feeling a lot of pressure? That was, that was a lot of hype Jeffrey gave you. Yeah. yeah. No, no pressure. I mean, I delivered, you know? Oh, yeah. all right. Look That's Max's you. style. He never lets a lady down. All right. Tell never. us about the girl that you went out with. What's her name? Her name's Beth. Okay. And we met online, actually. She's super cute. And I should tell you the whole sort of backstory about our date. Yeah. We were texting for a while, a couple of weeks, actually, just because we wanted to hang out, but it didn't work with our schedules. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, so were you planning something big and elaborate the entire time and the schedule wasn't working out or... Well, it's funny you ask because <laughs> we were talking and I found out she had never been to prom. Aww. I know, right? I think she said her date ditched her or something. And <gasps> oh. Wow, okay. So I came up with this idea. I would surprise her recreating prom night for her. That is so wow. cute. Okay. That is I mean, beyond. You're going to blow that on a first date? I mean, you... God. I mean, I feel like that's something you keep in your back pocket for when you're dating six months and then you do it. Not him, Brooke. Not him. I guess. Wow. <laughs> I know. Max brings it all. Date one. Uh-huh. <laughs> we were really connecting on the phone. What? Okay. So how did you do this? Yeah, would you guys do drink in the car before the date started? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. So I just told her to dress up. Okay, so that's literally all I told her. But she didn't know that the prom was coming. No, I didn't tell her anything else. Okay. okay. But here's what I do. I go to her apartment, and I texted her to look outside her window. Uh-huh. And it was Aww. sort of dusk, like it was getting dark, and I had set up these candles outside. Aww. And these rose petals, it actually took me a long time, but the rose petals <laughs> were on the sidewalk, and they spelled out from question mark. Oh, you even did a promposal. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys get it. Good job. <laughs> yeah. You are so proud, as you should be, sir. I yeah. guess. Uh, but it's probably awkward with all the adults walking by that are like, why is this old gentleman asking some girl to prom? This is weird. <laughs> should we They're call like, the authorities? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, please be her dad. Yeah. <laughs> so you told her to look out the window. She looked out. And what happened? She looked out and she looked really excited. Kind of shocked, but she came down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. I gave her her corsage. Oh, oh. I see it. You even brought the Great. corsage. Man. So what's next? I called an Uber, and um, I had the Uber take us to my work parking lot. Okay. Okay, that hey. sounds ghetto, but rude. Right, okay. <laughs> it was enclosed, and it, has, it actually has really good acoustics, which is why we went there. Oh, it's like oh. a parking garage. Okay. Oh, got it. <laughs> I went to a poor high school. I'm going to tell you, your parking garage was probably in better <laughs> condition than my high school. Yeah. Was. What is parking garage? Yeah. Oh, what is this? Fancy, fancy. <laughs> okay. So you went to your work parking garage, and right, right. what happened there? Of course, I take out my boombox and started Dude. playing some old 90s songs for her, and we danced. And Aww. you know, we took funny photos together. I love you even this. took prom photos together? Yeah, I used my iPhone. We, you know, I downloaded some funny background. Aww. That could be really cute or super awkward. <laughs> yeah, I agree. There's like a fine line here. How was Beth feeling during this whole experience? Could yeah. you get a read yeah. on that? Beth, she seemed to like it. 
I mean, was she smiling? Like, was she laughing? <laughs> she seemed to like it. That's a very yeah. short um, review, yeah, sir. Yeah, what made you think that she seemed to like <laughs> it? There, that's a better question. But, I mean, she didn't run away, and, like, she probably could have run away at various points. I don't oh. know. Heels are hard to run in. I I'm really know. concerned that you're judging your date's interest based on whether or not she ran away. <laughs> yeah. Look, I gave her three opportunities. Yeah. I said, run now, and uh-huh. she did. Right. <laughs> she dialed 9-1, but she didn't dial the last one, so she must like me. Oh, come on. You know what I mean. I mean. You know what I mean. Okay. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I, know. Or... I know. We're just giving you a hard yeah, time, man. This, we're honestly jealous because you've done way more on yeah. your first date than we've done on any of our dates. And compared yeah. to other second dates, this is a lot of effort. It's very creative and very romantic. All kidding aside, this is impressive, dude. I told you guys I delivered. <laughs> yeah, 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 you, you did. did. We're you lying, totally man. I mean, yeah, thank you. But what you guys do after, like, you know, you dance, like, once or twice, right? Because you dance more than that, and it does start to get awkward. In between her trying to run Right. <laughs> well, I didn't want to shortchange her. I had 15 songs on the playlist. Nice. That's a solid Wait, playlist. Wait, you stayed in the parking lot and danced for 15 songs? That's at least a Did you have someone hours. come yell at you for dirty dancing halfway through? Because that's what oh, happened yeah. at my prom. No. So. no. You guys nice. are joking, but 15 songs is a long time, Max. That is. A couple hours, I think. I wanted to give her the full experience. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, real prom is awkward, so the recreation of prom needs to be a little <laughs> bit awkward, too. So there was, like, fast songs and slow songs, and you guys were totally sober, just the two of you I in a parking not. garage dancing. Basically, yeah. Okay. Oh. Recap I, isn't as... I, I bet it's more romantic in real life than what we're picturing in it's our heads. Still, it felt like it. Yeah. No, again, great. romantic to the third song. Okay. <laughs> but prom is always a lit down, so this yeah. kind of... Yeah, true. So how did this night end? We drove to McDonald's, and we got some food. That is like classic prom. <laughs> that is, yeah. It was honestly, it, was, it felt perfect, I guess, until the end, when I walked her through the door, and um, she said, oh, that was such a special night. Oh. And then um, she sort of leaned in, and like I sort of thought she was going to kiss me, but she kissed me on the cheek. Okay. Mm. So nice. And then I haven't heard from her at all. Huh. Now that's the weird yeah. Well, I mean, it's, that's, I mean, it's just a lot of effort to not get a, a call back. Dude, you should at least get like a pity kiss on prom night. That's fair. I think so. That's what I thought. Yeah, I mean, I, if nothing else, you went through all this effort, and that's what we're going to try to get you right now. We're okay. going yeah. to get you a pity kiss. Okay. A, I can get behind this. Or a, yeah. maybe yeah. even a pity <laughs> second <laughs> date. I don't think anybody no, no, wants no, no. pity anything. He was happy that she didn't run. Come on. <laughs> So okay, we're going to play again. a song. We'll come back. We'll call Beth for you, and we'll try and get you a second date. All right, ma'am? All right. All right, hold on.